Hello, my beautiful Virgos. I'm Rena Wells, and I am your medicine woman, highly intuitive, and I'm here to do your reading for July. So, Virgo, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Make sure you take a look at those placements. This is a general read, so take what resonates. It is, I mostly deal with uh, twin flames, soulmates, high level connections, and I work with. Um, how to leverage that energy to manifest your best life. So let's take a look. Don't forget, guys, I am running a sweepstakes, a giveaway for uh, there's some prizes, including my new deck, my Cosmic Tarot. Um, it has, it's not on the market yet, so I am giving it away, shipping everything included, and I'm giving away one hour read with me, a live read where you can ask all the questions that you want, and a three month, a three month, a 30 minute recording as well. So the info is down below. We're going to take a look. Spirit is already coming through very strong. I try to get through housekeeping as quick as possible. So I don't like doing a lot of that talk. I like doing the readings right away because I love interacting with you guys. So we have the nine of pentacles coming through with you. You've been um, very independent here, Virgo, is what I'm seeing, which you guys do. Very organized, very in your mm, divine feminine energy because you've ended things. You've really had a place of um, whatever you've been left out of. You may have exiled some people out of your life, Virgo, that you're like, no, I'm putting an ending to those things and you're starting something fresh. So yeah, you're not taking injustice anymore. So you're, you're happy in your space. I feel like you're in a manifesting mode is what I'm really getting here, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like you are, yeah, really, the Knight of Swords just came up. Um, really moving forward into a whole new way of working maybe with different people being with around different people um trying out new things is what i'm getting let's see what's going on for virgo and love please you may try to date other people i get a very single energy though that you're really focused on self this month let's see what's going on for virgo sun moon rising and venus please for love here we have the queen of wands in reverse the nine of wands I'll tell you, sorry, the headspace is the queen of wands in reverse, the nine of wands in the heart space, the action is the fool in reverse, and the outcome is the page of wands. Let's clarify each one. You may have um, recently ended something, Virgo. I don't know if it was serious or not. Could have been serious for some. Okay, so take it as it resonates. If you are thinking of a particular person, um, this person may have has recently become single so it could be you that's single very single or your person is very single now okay because we have here the uh, ten of pentacles in reverse of the queen of wands so somebody was exiled in this situation so again this is general so you got to take it with how resonates um and you and somebody's moved on very quickly something's ended and somebody has started fresh and has started new and so whoever's single i feel like they're happily single they're okay they may be dating and another person is ending a very serious commitment here we have that you're persevering with your dreams and you're not stopping with the six of swords in reverse you're persevering through any stuck energy any drama trauma drama you're like i'm done with the drama i don't like drama and i'm moving forward with that whatever doesn't start you are not letting it bother you. I, I don't think you're taking responsibility for other people anymore too, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like maybe in the past you would take responsibility and just apologize just to be the bigger person to make something work. And, and you're not doing that anymore. You're not going to, you're just going to do what you need to do and get on a new path here. This is a return to the past, though. A new path is coming up. You know what I think? I think something is, someone is going to return from the past. And you may not want them or you may have it was already over for you and you may be like i don't i don't know if i want to open that door again i feel like you've really come into a place of yeah look at this love on the bottom so there may be something here that's really happened for you virgo that it took you a long time to get through and i feel you like you're really good clarify that nine of pentacles here like you're you're like look at this the lovers of course the lovers came out as i'm saying that you healed from a situation and really moved through it and you're at, and you took action in your life. You didn't stay still. You didn't, you know, you really worked hard to get into this place and look at this beautiful, you know, queen in her garden. You know, she, she's happy. She's content in what she's created. And it's like, she's turned her back onto certain things. She's like, I don't know if I want to turn, she's turned away from a relationship that she may have thought I'm saying she could, I, I don't know that you know thought maybe was a destiny and thinking no you know what maybe it's just not meant to be but 
when I clarified that nine of pentacles, that's what happened to you. But this queen of wands in reverse, and I'm feeling this is, um, uh, it's, it's queen of wands, but I'm picking up a masculine energy who's reconnected to a divine feminine on the inside of that blocked passion. And I'm feeling like a massive foundation has ended here to come and bring, a, a, bring forward an offer. You know what I'm feeling for some of y'all too is that there was a child that broke um, your person. They didn't want another child. And I think, and this is one storyline I'm getting that somebody, somebody else got pregnant. Like a whoops, but it wasn't a whoops, you know? You know those women to try and keep a man. <laughs> Let's have one last night of love. Oops, I forgot my pill, sorry. <laughs> like that kind of love. Um, and this really angered somebody here. That's a storyline that I'm getting. Or they tried to do that. Okay? And um, they're apologizing and this masculine energy is now like, screw you, bitch. Like, sorry, I'm out of there. Um, it's a breakup. They're, they, they've given so much, but they're so unstable that they, they don't want this. I already have kids. I, don't want, I didn't want more. I told you that's what I'm hearing. I already have kids. I didn't want more. I'm not ready for that. I'm too old for that. Or I, I can't have, you know, and, and for another storyline, what I'm getting is like, I can't have kids. What are you talking about? And they find out that they got pregnant by somebody else, not knowing or something malicious like that. There's a couple storylines that are coming in. And so, yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Swords in reverse. So very block narcissistic energy, um, not focusing and very unstable home environment. So something has completely ended. And whatever's happened to the viewer, you're very beautiful. They see how well you've moved on and you're open to new situations. You're, you're not, you know, you were exiled out. Um, but yeah, as I'm saying that by the emperor, upright, by your divine counterpart here, the masculine energy. And you're not, you know, you're persevering now. You're, it was too dramatic. It was too hard. Look at this. It upset you, divine feminine. I can't make this up. Twin flame energy right here. Okay, Virgo? Really upset that this person pushed you out for somebody else even. Okay? Or for somebody else because they said like, well, this other person knows how to raise kids and you don't. Or I don't know, but there's something about a child here and family. And we have the king and queen. Yeah, we have the, the emperor and the empress here. So that's twin flame energy. <clears throat> this masculine pushed out the feminine and persevered down a very uh, difficult path. And this divine feminine was like, well, screw you. It was very painful. Three of swords here. And I feel like that three of cups, third party energy too. We got two threes coming out at the same time. So definitely third party situation. And you ended things. You're like, screw that. I'm not dealing with that. And I feel like now, Virgo, you're saying, you know, the fool in reverse with this Ten of Wands, you're like, you know, I don't know if I want to go back to this. I don't think I want to resurrect this. I'm manifesting my world now with that, that, that wizard. I'm, I'm not taking responsibility for this. I didn't do anything wrong. And you know what, Virgo, I don't feel like you did do anything wrong. I think you were really doing your best. And this person just blindsided you or was shady. Um, like, I almost feel like you know, you break up and like two days later, they, there's somebody else is over like that fast. You know, we have the uh, king of pentacles. So yeah, you, it took you a while to move forward, but you're flying now in your life, Virgo. So what is going on with this? this, this um, let's go back here to the emperor here in the heart space. What does he want? What does this masculine want? Oh, he's a sad poor boy here. We have the emperor with the five of cups. He's sad for being deceptive. Ooh, ooh. He lied, seven of, seven of swords in reverse. So for lying, for being cunning, for not sharing everything, for not planning. He was planning in the background. I feel uh, uh, this divine feminine was way too strong for this masculine. He couldn't handle the power this, this divine feminine had or has and um, want to control out of a situation. And I feel kind of use the excuse of family or creating some stability that the divine feminine didn't want in her future or couldn't provide in her future and the masculine used that against her is a story that I'm getting and then blindsided her and said like yeah like we're done and then like two days later I'm seeing one scenario like a divine feminine showing up and being like yeah well I'm gonna come by and grab my clothes 
and then like noticing that there's already like another woman there or partly moved in already something like that and then him saying no it's i needed a roommate because you're gone Ooh, sorry guys that's the storyline that i'm getting here yeah he already gave his cup of love to somebody for that nine of cups he started working with somebody else this masculine with that three of pentacles yeah guys i'm sorry virgo but you're you're coming out good yeah it was really sad and disheartening with that sun in reverse your son was just your joy was taken right out so what is going on for virgo here of getting on a path what's this past card somebody from the past and this path from the past they realized it wasn't their happiness oh, i'm so sorry <laughs> It wasn't their happiness. I don't feel they've quite broken up. I think they're having to, um, well, as I'm saying that we have the two cups in reverse with the two of wands, I feel like they're they're talking about it. They're contemplating it. They're talking about, uh, there's a return here. So coming out of the cold to a commitment. You may have been married to this person and broke up a home life here. Okay, you may have had some type of foundation here with this person and they broke it and they didn't want it. And now they're in a situation that they're contemplating. I don't think they've fully broken up, but I feel like they are contemplating it. And they're they're really looking at you now, Virgo. But you're sitting good, Virgo. Like, I feel like you're really moving quickly. Clarify that Knight of Swords. Like, this person may want to come with fast communication, but you're really, like, ready to go forward. Like, you've moved on. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody new coming here with the Four of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands. I feel like you have been dating other people, and I think somebody very passionate is about to enter your life that can actually man up, you know, that can actually be not this sad little wilted flower here. And I feel like you may take another offer come in July. I feel like this is coming towards the end of July. Yeah, balance, temperance. This is a high-level soulmate that's coming in for you. Okay, that's going to put you at a crossroads. You may have two choices is what I'm getting. This other person from the past may end up with this karmic person and come back to you uh, just as you're getting and because they didn't give to you and they're going to want to give to the divine feminine here with that queen of pentacles and change their plans all of a sudden. And that may be when this new person comes in for you, Virgo. And you're like, now you want to come to me? Like, and I just meet this amazing king here. Like, and now you want to come to me? You're like, I don't know if I want that. Look, I don't really know if I want that. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like you're going to have a choice between two. I really do. Um, we have strength and, yeah, discovering yourself. You've been on this self-discovery path here. And um, you've been holding your strength. And the wheel is turning for you. So a lot of good things are coming for you. I would say go for the new person. As I'm saying that, chariot, run. <laughs> go for the new love. I'm feeling really heavy energy from the other love from the other person i almost feel like they it was testing ground and they you know like i'm okay with open relationships if everyone's on the same page like uh, this person was almost scared to just say like do you want to just open up the relationship because they didn't want you to be with anybody else that's what i'm getting but they wanted to be with somebody else but they couldn't it's like what's not good for the goose ain't good for the gander i hate that shit it's like if it's what's good for me is good for you then it's share it's fair like and if you can't handle your jealousy and you expect me to handle it like whatever bye yeah, you have to close up and find yourself again here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull some tarot and I mean, oracle. I mean, let's see. Let's pull some angel answers first. What is going on for Virgo, please, in this situation for July? I feel like you are sitting pretty in a really nice place. Virgo, I really feel that. I feel like you're sitting in a nice place. I think you may have two options. You may, Spirit is saying, like, you may be able to, for some of you, be able to um, <laughs> view your karmic justice. I love that. When when God, likes to, lets you watch your karmic justice unfold, it's great. Like, when I had to get the people out of my house, and it was a whole other drama, but then when I finally got them out, and they had nowhere to go, and they did the same thing to me and expected me to do whatever, <laughs> just vampires okay but whatever it was i got to watch them create their own karma and god let me watch and it was great <laughs> and it's not that you wish bad on anybody but it's lovely when you can play in karma however karma rolls and when you're on the good side of karma you know it's always working for you so it's okay to watch it and be okay with how it plays out that's how the universe is that's the magnificence of manifestation right what is going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? 
and north node please forgiveness see someone's gonna want forgiveness somebody wants forgiveness yeah you're you may be no this is what i'm feeling you may be like you know what no i'm choosing a new direction i'm feeling like that virgo i feel like for some of you and remember these are general um what about if it's a twin flame or something like that, Spirit? Let's just say for those that do want a reconciliation, you're going to have to clearly communicate, Spirit says, if that's what you want. And it can be a success. So there's there's two scenarios because you get different people that watch these. So Spirit is saying, yeah, for other ones, forgiveness, no, I'm going in a new direction. For other ones, we're going to have to communicate and it can be successful for some of you, okay? Yeah. Let's take a look at some romance angels. What do the romance angels have to say? What is going on? Four, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Yeah, and I feel like some of you may even say no, like you may want it, and you may say no at the beginning, but I, this person, I don't know, may come back again, is what I'm seeing. You may have had that situation, like this back and forth situation all the time. Yeah, they may be like, baby, I want you to give this a chance. What about this new person that's coming in? A new person? Yeah, you may go away with them, retreat, and turn your back on the whole situation and move away and go on a trip with this other person and just be like, no, and because there's chemistry there with that person. Yeah, and that may lead to marriage here, okay? And with the with the other person coming back from the grave, <laughs> resurrecting from the grave, they're going to come with that playful energy, that flirting. Can you please, you know, give it another chance? Can we get to know each other better in a new way? Can Can I relearn you? Can we make the effort? But you got to know if you deserve love. So, I mean, again, this is general, guys. You're going to have to know your love and what you deserve, right? Like, set those boundaries. Because you know if somebody ever comes back, it's not going to be the same vibration, right? You're going to be like, what? Just because we have this connection, um, how do I know that you've grown from that? Show me proof. Like, you need tangible, physical proof, guys can't just take people's words these days. I like to see the manifestation. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, let's see. <laughs> Wait, I haven't seen you in like two or three years. Like, what have you manifested? <laughs> right? Yeah. Then they're all talk. Then they're all talk. What's going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with their love situation? Please, Spirit, for July. What is going on for my Virgos? Oh, this came up for... I know there's secrets between us. Ah. Aquarius or Pisces? It may have been Pisces. I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. There's secrets. Things things weren't fully um, yeah, deadly sins. This person was in a dark place that you had to heal from. And they may have brought you in a lot of darkness. And that's why you're like, I ain't going there. And so for this new person... Well, this is the old person. Can we work it out? What about the new person? Let me shuffle. What about the new person? If this is a two-person situation for the viewer that's coming in. I'm working on my inner stuff. So this person that you may be coming into contact with, a new direction that you take, and you manifest a new person this month, um, they're currently working on their stuff to be good for you. So it's already in the works. It's already in the works, okay? I know you're my soulmate. That's the marriage one. Yeah. Yeah. Clarify this new soulmate. Yeah, they're having doubts right now in their life. Don't doubt it. And you may doubt it. You may doubt it. Okay? But this is leading to marriage. Cathedral, the Hierophant. So, yeah. And what about the other person that... That wants to try and work it out. And, and for some people that they can and it can be a success, success if they communicate clearly. It's a burnout, right? So, it's a very difficult situation. I'm going to say that right now. I think I'm with them and I'm thinking about you. So that could have been third party situation. And they're burnt out and the and the distance between us is killing me. So you got some choices, Virgo. You got some choices coming up in July. Let's see what other messages are coming up for Virgo, please. What star seed messages do we have for Virgo, please? <clears throat> Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and to comment down below. This is a comment down below. If you want to work with me, um, all that info is down below. And if you do comment and subscribe, take a look at the video that I'm going to post down below. Uh, if you comment on that video and you like to subscribe to my channel, then you are automatically entered into a sweepstakes to win a free reading with me. 
and my tarot deck as I mentioned before so yeah let's take a look what is going on here courage live your life fearlessly with courage strength and determination I think that's what you've been doing I'm sorry the lighting is really bad because I'm doing this at night um, yeah, I really think you're having the courage for go to move forward in a really brand new situation. And I love this because this new love that's coming in, the new vibration is really like this love and the soulmate and the lions. And that's like courage to go into something new. It's like light. It's going to be light. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. What about this old person that's coming back? This other person that's coming back? Ascension. They want to ascend with you. Your soul is evolving, evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. So they've been working on themselves. So yeah, they've been working on themselves. They may be coming back, okay? Um, and you may be having another choice between somebody else. So take it as it resonates, guys. Um, that's what I'm seeing for Virgo. We're going to get some final answers here. And that will be your reading. What is going on for Virgo, please? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node, please. What is going on for Virgo? Yeah, I hope you guys like this. I'll be back next week with some more Twin Flame stuff. And yeah, I can't wait to go live with you guys. What is going on with my hands? <laughs> what is going on for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. What is going on for Virgo? Soulmates. I think Pisces got this as well. So there is a very high level soulmate that's coming in. So you may be going between a twin flame and a soulmate too. Like that, that's a difficult combination, but you've been doing the work. So uh, cleaning up your vibration exactly for this new love that's coming in, right? You've been co-creating and you're going by the book. You're working things out. So yeah, that's that new vibe I feel coming in. What about the old vibe here, spirit? The old person. But they feel like home and this is what I'm getting like and they may feel like home with you so uh, you may be dealing with your twin flame is what I'm getting that may want to come back and you're in a, and you may be meeting a high level soulmate and you may have your work cut out for you Virgo that's really what I'm getting here we have the higher power here and why so you're gonna be asking yourself some questions here so but the thing is what's really good Virgo you're in control and you have the power and you've manifested some great things so um, yeah, the choice is up to you, pretty much. The choice, the choice is up to you because you've got you've got this, right? You've got this higher power and the soulmate that's coming in, which is really beautiful. And right. yeah, it doesn't matter the label. It depends on the height of the vibration that someone can meet you. Alright? So much love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.